Okay, girls. I've decided who I'm going to prom with. Rose. Dylan. Max. Yes. Which one? All of them. What? What? I'm confused. Well, I couldn't decide, so I said yes to all of them. Um, Casey, this is not a good idea. Wait, so all four of you are gonna go together? <laughs> No, they don't know why I said yes to the others. What a stupid idea. Your math is not mathing. How on earth are you going to pull this off? You guys are going to help me. Ooh, this sounds fun. No, I'm not. Um, I don't remember agreeing to that. I volunteered you. When? Just now. Okay. But what about our prom dates? Taylor, someone finally asked you? No. Then what's the problem? Mm-hmm. That's what I thought. Well, I don't have anyone to go with, so I'll help you, Casey. That's the attitude that I like to see. I'm just happy to be here. Why can't you guys be as obedient as JJ? I'm not a dog. You are a bitch. I guess I am a dog. Well, I'll help, but I'm going with Brody, so... Oh, good. He can help, too. Okay, he'll be so delighted to hear that. I'm so excited. Okay, come close. This is the blueprint of the space. How did you get this, Principal Aspen? <sighs> She's so cool. I know. Anyway. Since I said yes to Rose, Dylan, and Max, they all have to think that I'm only there with them. Fortunately for me, they're all in different cliques, so they will all be sitting at different tables. So I'm gonna spend a few minutes with each and then make an excuse and then go to the next, etc. Um, can you go back and log? This is not gonna work. You guys are going to help me distract the ones I'm not with so they don't go looking for me, Anne Ron. Okay, screw me then, whatever. Okay, now for the fun part. We're each going to have a little earpiece, so we can alert each other if one of them is about to cross paths. I literally couldn't think of anything less fun. We're going undercover? This is way too much for my brain to handle. Or if someone's getting a little too suspicious. That's so cool! Is this what the popular kids always do? Kabish. Sounds complicated. When do we get to have fun? This is fun. Right. JJ, this is your official initiation into our group. This would be matter too. If you can help me pull this off, you're in. Casey, you never care about us. JJ? This is your official initiation into our group. If you can help me pull this off, you're in. Do I get a team jacket? No, we're not a dance team. Okay. We really should consider getting much, though. Do you guys want me? JJ, you should never be this excited to be anyone's friend. It's pathetic. Right, got it. I think it's kind of cute. Well, if you're so in love with JJ, why don't you go to prom with her? Whoa, attitude. I'm sorry, JJ, you're cute, but I'm not gay. Understandable. You're not my type anyway. <sighs> I'm like everyone's type. What is your type? Oh, gang. <coughs> What's it to you? God, sorry for trying to seem interested in your life. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we all understand the plan. Yes. Sure. Yes. I'll see you girls tomorrow night then. Leave now. Right now? Uh, I just have to call my mom to come pick me up. It'll probably be like 15 minutes. Okay, go wait outside. I can't wait in here with you. No. Okay. Well, will one of you drive me? I would, but my license got suspended. And I genuinely just don't want to. Okay. JJ, what did you do to your hair? Sorry, I tried to do it like you did, but this is the best I could do. I've literally been working on it for hours. No, 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 no. no. Taylor, do you have a brush? You really just expect me to have everything you need on hand? Yes, I have a brush. Okay, this needs to be quick. Good. Wow, you weren't kidding. I have a magic touch in more ways than one. Huh. Okay, here's your earpiece. This is the coolest thing I've ever done. Your life must be pretty boring. Not really. And this is a walkie that you can talk through. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, and you're also standing right in front of me. Nice. Where the hell is Zoe? Where the hell is Zoe? Hello? Zoe, what the f*** are you doing? Like, right at this moment? Yeah. Um... Brody? I need you here like, like 10 minutes ago. Oh, okay. Wait, where? Prom. Oh, is that right now? Brody, I think we're supposed to be at prom. We're gonna kill it. Okay, be there in a minute. Well, maybe less honestly. <sighs> hey guys. That was quick. Yeah, so is Brody. Where is Brody? Oh, he's still getting dressed. He'll be here soon. How did you get dressed so quick? Um, I never took this off. Oh.
I don't want to know anymore. Are you joking? Where is Bertie? Oh, he's still getting dressed. He'll be here soon. How did you get dressed so quick? Um, I never took this off. Oh, I don't want to know anymore. Are you joking? You steal my boyfriend and now my dress too? Um, this is my dress. It's the same fucking one I'm wearing, dipshit. Cute, twinsies. No, not cute. We can't be wearing the same dress. Why not? I don't care about your minor inconveniences. Do we all remember the plan? Yes, I studied it all night. Yeah, you only told me 47 times. Yes. Wait, no. What's that? Zoe, you are literally the most useless human being. Yeah, but it's not my fault. I got it. Casey has three prom dates, but none of them know about each other. So our job is to make sure that they don't find out. Okay. But at least someone listens. I'm listening. I just don't really care. Raise your earpiece. Cute. Just lit, bro. I know. All the older hot girls are wearing short dresses. I'm in the atmosphere. But yeah. Dude, how are we even here? We're freshmen. Principal Asman's like a regular customer of mine. Bro, that's dope. Thanks for taking me as your date. Why did you air quotes around date, bro? Because we're not actually on a date. Oh, wait, dude, did you think we were like going to prom together? No, bro, of course not. All right, good, bro, because that would have been hella awkward. Yeah. Mike, this is a formal event. No hats allowed. I can't take this off, bro. Take it off. No, man, please. No one has ever seen you without it my hat, against bro. bro. Take it off or I will have you escort. Why you always get to stick up your ass, man? No, man, please. No one has ever seen you without it my hat, against dress bro. Code. Take it off, or I will have you escort. Why you always to stick up your ass, man? Dude, what, bro? Your hair is gorgeous. Really? Yeah, bro. If you were a girl, I would, like, totally be into you. Bruh. Hollows. JJ, you clean up nicely. You, you look beautiful. I know. So, are you um, are you still a lesbian? Last time I checked, yes. Well, how recently have you checked? What do you mean, Oh. Come on, bud. You deserve to spend time with someone who appreciates your company. Yeah. Okay, have fun. Rose. Hello, love. You look beautiful. You look amazing. I'm so happy you made it. Yeah, well, typically when someone asks you to be their date for prom, you two are supposed to go together. I understand. So, I was rather surprised when you said you wanted to meet me here. I'm so sorry. My friend was having a crisis. I just... I really needed to be there for her. What? None of us were having no places. She's so She couldn't arrive with anyone, otherwise her cover would be blown. Oh. Where, where does this go? Keep up. I don't think that's right. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's completely understandable. You're such a good friend for doing that. Good friend? <laughs> that's laughable. Will you join me at my seat? Of course. Hello. Is this why? <laughs> I'm walking with Rose for a seat. Any song Rose? No. Clear. Over. Hello? This is so fun. I feel so useful. Sorry, love, did you say something? Oh, no, that wasn't me. Hello? Casey, can you hear me? My apologies. Sometimes I hear voices. I think they may be my spiritual guides, but... I don't think this, like, matches my dress. I can never make out what they're saying. <laughs> I think mine's clogged. Casey, my love. I have a very important question. Okay. Shoot. Um, what is your astrological sign? Um, I'm a Gemini. <gasps> oh, God! Okay, um, May or June? June. Okay. Casey, that's a red flag. Over. Okay, see, who's your favorite musician? Casey, 
Form date number two has arrived. I repeat, form date number two has arrived. Fuck Dylan. Hmm, I don't know Fuck Dylan. What genre are they? What? You said your favorite musician was the band Fuck Dylan. I'm not familiar with them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're good. Do you think you could show me a song to see if I recognize it? Hmm. Yep. Okay. Oh, you mean like, you mean like right now? Wait, are Dylan and Brody twins? You guys dated and he never introduced you to his sister? Must have not been that serious. He got me a promise ring. They're here somewhere. I'm a big supporter of the arts. Oh quack, Dylan is walking around for Casey. Oh my god, Casey hide. Dylan is looking your way. Casey, are you okay? We need a doctor over here. No, no, shh, shh, I'm fine. What is wrong with you? Oh my god, Casey, hide. Dylan is looking your way. Casey, are you okay? We need a doctor over here. No, no, shh, shh, I'm fine. What is wrong with you? Sorry, I just got like really stressed and I just like needed a moment to myself. I'm fine now. If you really can't decide on a song to show me from Dylan, it's not that big of a problem. I will just look it up myself. No. Oh, what gives? Well, you really better hope that just didn't break. Gemini's are crazy. Guys, this is not going well. I just threw Rose's phone across the room. What? Over. You don't think you have two more options. Over. Go distract Dylan until I can sleep away. Watch that. Over. Well, I should really write a good Amazon review for this phone case. <laughs> so you're not mad that I just whipped your phone across the room? I think you're quite crazy, but truthfully, love, I just need a little more excitement in my life. Hi, baby. What's up, Angel? Long time no see. And by long time, I mean like 10 minutes, but 10 minutes feels like forever without you, baby. <laughs> You're so funny. So, this is the infamous Brody that I've heard so much about. What have you heard about me? That's your player. Thanks. Hi, Brody. Hey, nice to meet you. What's your name? <sighs> That's not funny. Did I say something wrong? Did you guys even date? Oh my god, yes, for like nine months. Oh, what? No, that's not ring the bell. That's like so pathetic for you, Taylor. <gasps> oh, you know what? Now I remember. You were the one that slapped me around a lot in bed. That sounds about like my stool friend. Please excuse my idiot brother. He gives like 500 girls a month. What? So you were cheating on me when we were together? No, baby. I was cheating on everyone else with you. Taylor, well, didn't you two have like five boyfriends at the same time too? Yeah, but it's different when I do it. They were more like than I thought. Up top. Well, didn't you two have like five boyfriends at the same time too? Yeah, but it's different when I do it. They were more like than I thought. Up top. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Uh, baby, does this mean you have other girls like now? No, baby, you're different. Oh, okay, good. Oh, well, this thing. Anyway, I'm Dylan. I'm Casey's date. You guys are your friends, right? In flesh. Wait, you look really familiar. We went to that sleepover together a few months ago with Cassie and Emma. Oh my god, that was you? Yep. Whatever happened to Cassie? Um, she's in a Canadian jail. Jesus. Anyway, do you guys know where I can find Casey? No. You go sit down in your seat and I will find her and bring her to you. I mean, I can just go blow. No, go sit down. Okay. Brody, um, do you want to go grab a drink? Yeah, baby. Um, Joey, aren't you forgetting something? No. Nothing? A condom. Do you have one? You sus. Let's go. Okay. Be right back, JJ. Maybe. Casey, Dylan is getting a little too curious. You need to go say hi to her. Now. Over. Rose, um, I need to use the restroom. I'll be right back. Okay, love, I can come with you. No. I mean, no, thank you. I'm just, I'm just extremely pee shy, but thanks. Okay, just take your time then, I guess. I will. Hey, you look great. I got you a drink. I put a little in there. Oh, great. Cheers. <sighs> Excuse me. I was thirsty. Oh. Casey, Max is here. I will repeat, Max, one day number three, has entered the building and they are walking around trying to find you. Over. And I still am. I'm gonna go get some more. Okay, I'll, I'll still be working on my first. 
by myself. Okay, this is ridiculous. Oh my god. Casey, Wolves is headed to the bathroom to look for you. Well, I have to go meet Max. Do something. Roger. Over. What do we do? I don't know. Joey. 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 Joey, we need your help. Over. Joey. 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 Zoe, she's a goner. JJ, Rose is going to the bathroom and she didn't realize that Casey's not in there. We need to do something, quick! Do something, I'll improvise! Casey? Casey, love, are you okay? <laughs> oh my god, are you okay? <laughs> no, my boyfriend just broke up with me! He told me we were gonna get married! <laughs> He bought me a party wig and made me promise we wouldn't have sex until marriage. And then I caught him cheating on me with someone else. Very much having sex. Jesus, love, you're having a rough night. <gasps> My boyfriend just broke up with me. He told me we were gonna get married. <laughs> he bought me a party wig and made me promise we wouldn't have sex until marriage. And then I caught him cheating on me with someone else. Very much having sex. Jesus, love, you're having a rough night. <laughs> Wait, now you broke up with you after he cheated. Yeah, because I'm a loser and I wanted to give him a second chance and he thought that was pathetic, so he dumped me. A jerk. <laughs> Before I give you any more advice, I must know, what is your astral <laughs> Um, Gemini. <laughs> Not again. Can you please stay with me for a little while and comfort me? I'm too sad to be alone. <laughs> Please, Woz. Um, yes, of course. <laughs> Wait, how do you know my name? Um, because I secretly have a huge crush on you. I've known who you were all year. Oh my God, this is heavy stuff. Wait, so are you bisexual then? No, I'm a lesbian. You just said you had a boyfriend. Um, I was twenty again. I understand. I don't know, I'm a Gemini. What's in your ear? Um, what are you listening to? Just the relaxing sounds of horses neighing. It calms me. Hmm. Okay. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's okay. Wait, you're Emma Whitlock, right? Yeah. Oh my god, I've heard like so much about you. Like, good or bad? Honestly, it's mixed. That's fair. So like, what are you listening to? What? Like, like your earpiece. Oh, um, it's Rihanna's new album. What? Rihanna doesn't have a new album. She doesn't even like release music anymore. Trust me, I would know. Yeah, but she could like drop something at any minute. You just like never know. Oh. I just like want to be prepared. Low key, that's like so smart. I'm a diehard for Rihanna too. Oh my god. Did we just become like besties? Yeah. Okay, next up, please put your hands together for our school's very own band who so generously offered to play tonight. Yay! Please give it up for Yeast Infection and the STDs. Vince Gerald. I'm Nova. Nova? Give it up for Yeast Infection and the STDs. Vince Gerald. I'm Nova. Nova? But up here, I go by Yeast Infection. Woo! And these are the STDs. Oh my god, Nova's in a band? Thanks for having us. Who's Nova? Oh, she's like my ex. But like, I broke her heart and she like disappeared off the face of the earth. Oh, one, two, three. Four. I guess she started a band and became like even more emo than she already was. Wow. Story of my life, searching for the right. But it keeps avoiding me. Babe, I love live music. Sorrow in my soul, but it feels so wrong. Really likes my company. Do you want to go dance with me? More than yeah. And this is more than love. Oh my god, Brody? The sky is blue. Oh my god, big boob Emma. You know each other? I mean, because I'm gone again. Yeah, we smashed once. We did. Oh, and I know that. Good to see you. It's fine. Kills him inside. Let's go dance. You know that I can't be with some other guy.
Cause I may be bad, but I'm perfectly good at it. I guess they just like let anyone out there. They're very supportive of the arts here. Sticks and stones may break my bones. A little too, too supportive. Even though we don't have anyone artistically inclined. S S S N. This is like really bad. I can't be supportive of this. Hey guys, are we having fun? Principal Ashman, like what's the deal here? This is not good. Wait, what do you mean? Um, my ears are like bleeding. We had some budget cuts and I spent most of the budget. So we could couldn't afford a real DJ, but they offered to play for free. Don't that bad. Okay, you're kind of hot, but you're like stupid, so. Did you like listen to them sing beforehand? Okay, honestly, no. I just asked them if they would sing Rihanna songs the entire prom, and they said yes. So. Um, like, why not just like play Rihanna over the speaker then? Have you never tried to post a Rihanna song on social media? John Bradley, okay, well, I gotta bounce. I'm interviewing a sexy new PE teacher. Don't forget to try the punch. I spiked it. Thank you. That's all. I gotta say, I was kind of surprised when you agreed to be my date for prom. Really? Why? I'm not really all that. Maxi Poo, yes you are. You're so cute. Plus, I haven't gone out with anyone non-binary yet. Thanks. No problem. So, do you have like a bucket list of different kinds of people you want to date? Date is a strong word. My list is for hookups. What else is on that list? Let's see. Okay, uh, basketball player, dominatrix, someone shorter than five feet, someone taller than six feet, a redhead, oh, a non-binary person. Check. Hey, we haven't hooked up yet. A MILF. Oh, I forgot to check that one. Impressive. A DILF, even though I'm gay, just because. Um, a cheerleader, JJ Johnson. What was that last one? A cheerleader. Uh, no, the one before that. Nothing. That was the end of the list. Let me see. Oops. Muscle spasm. Okay. Want to make out in the bathroom? Yeah. Then I found out he was cheating on me with my sister. That's awful. You're too good for Actually, um, I just remembered. I'm really thirsty. Let's go get some water. Okay. <sighs> so close. Sorry, I don't know what came over me. Don't be sorry. That was the most wonderful kiss I've ever had. Really? That was my first kiss with a girl. Well then, let me make it your second as well. Okay, attention everyone. Attention student body. Guys, guys, I am speaking. I am speaking. It is the most fun time of the night for nobody except them. But it is time to announce the prom king and queen. Yay! Hey guys, what did I miss? They were about to announce who won the Super Bowl. What happened to your face? Magic. Damn, Jada's pulling bitches. Not bitches. Attractive young women. Whatever, dude. Don't make me. Uh, okay. And the prom queen is Tracy Smith. What? Yeah. As a freshman, she's a freshman. I genuinely don't know, but I um, she got the most votes by an overwhelming amount. <laughs> Shit. Casey, come out on the dance floor. Everyone make way, make way. Okay, now the prom king and queen will have the dance floor to themselves. Hi. Thank you. Um, to have a private dance with their dates. No. Oh, okay, shit. Gerald. We don't no. need to do that, honestly. What do we expect? Wait, wait, what's, what's the problem? Has anyone seen Casey? Will the dates of the prom queen and king please make their way to the floor? Oh, excuse me guys, that's that's me. Oh shit, that's me. Okay, well that's me. I'd rather be dancing with you. I'm really glad you feel that way. For more reasons than one. Excuse me, sorry. I wish I could find my date. Hi. No, I said they're prom date. This is a private dance. The rest of the student body can have the floor after this one minute and 31 second song, okay? God, be patient. Oh, no, I am Casey's date. No, I'm Casey's date. What? Uh, I see where this is going now. This is so surprising. Honestly, I'm just happy this isn't my fault. Same. No, she literally said yes to me. She said yes to me too. And I. I don't know. Casey? Um, do you remember that concussion I had? 
last year? No, that's not me. Why did you say yes to all three of us? Because you're all sexy. Unbelievable. Honestly, I really don't mind. I've been making out with JJ in the bathroom this entire time, and it was absolutely lovely. Brody is literally so hot. Oh, I think you just gave me a concussion. What is going on over here? We were just fighting about who we saw coming out of the janitor's closet this morning with Mr. Higginbottom. Zoe thinks it was Mrs. Mabubi, but I could have sworn it was you. I didn't see anything. Good, neither did I. My head really hurts. <gasps> Bitch, what the fuck? I have a deviated septum and you're deviating it more. Brody's my ex-boyfriend, you skank. Oh my God, can you guys stop? You've had like 26 ex-boyfriends. If you don't want one of them, why can't I have one? You're both idiots. Yeah, probably because Taylor just gave me a concussion. No, I don't think that's why. Sorry, we can't all be gay, Casey. It's really not that much better. Unless you're me, because I get anyone I want. Oh, man. I forgot my locker coat again. She's gonna be so mad at me. Is that girl new? What do you want, JJ? I'm at work. Mom, did you wipe my locker coat down anywhere? I forgot it again. <laughs> I've never seen her before, but she's prettier than you, Zoe. Might have to replace you as my best friend, especially with that crooked nose. <laughs> No, I didn't, JJ. It's not my responsibility to keep track of your locker code. You need to learn to be independent and start to take care of yourself because I'm not going to be able to do it forever. Is this about Brody? Because I won't talk to him again. Again? <gasps> I deserve that one. You need to go to the front desk and tell them that you forgot okay, your locker combination like a big girl. I know it's not about him. I just have a reputation to uphold. I can only be friends with nines. No eights or tens because... I have to be the prettiest, but I also can't be seen with ugly people. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Wait. I am at work trying to put a roof over our head, and I don't need calls from my daughter who doesn't know how to do anything for herself. Whatever. Casey, do you know her? Hang on. What are you doing? I'm writing the answers to my science test on my hand. <gasps> You're so smart, Casey. Can't you? So fucking annoying. Shit. I ran out of room. Give me your hand. I'm gonna be fucking late for class again. Bitch, I have a blood condition. The ink is going to like seep into my blood and make my condition worse. This will be fine. Do you know that girl or what? Who? <sighs> There's no way. What? That's JJ freaking Johnson. The geeky horse girl? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be late for class. You're high. Yeah, but I can still see. You guys got high without me? No, you were with us. Maybe I do have a concussion. Now you're just stupid. JJ. Come here. Me? Yes, you, dingbat. See, told you. Wow. Uh, hey, Casey. What's up? And by what's up, I mean, why are you talking to me? Wow, she's rude, too. I like her. You look different in a good way. We like your new look. Oh, um, I just didn't have time to wave my hair this morning. Well, you don't look ugly anymore. What Zoe is trying to say is that you shouldn't braid your hair anymore. It makes you look like a dork. Really? It's it, it kind of like who I am, though. Oh, honey, nobody likes who you are. My mom does. And, and my dad does sometimes. Don't wear the braids again, okay? Okay. You're sitting with us at lunch today, so cancel your other plans. Okay. Well, I mean, I didn't really have other plans. I usually just eat alone in the bathroom. Do not ever repeat that. See you at lunch. Okay. Bye. Wow. They're so cool. Oh, there she is. JJ! Hey guys! Sit. Okay. It's so nice to have people to sit with for lunch. What is that? My lunch? Ew. JJ, it's okay to be poor, but we just don't want to flaunt it. My dad packed me that. Yeah, exactly. Okay, first rule of being popular, we don't bring lunch from home. We buy it. Okay, I can do that. I just I just don't have any money on me. Here, you can borrow my dad's credit card. I I don't think I can. <laughs> yes, you can. He won't notice the charges. Trust me. He really won't. No, I mean, I don't, I don't think the lunch ladies accept credit. Ew, no, I didn't mean to buy lunch here. We get DoorDash delivered. Here, order whatever you want. 
you're allowed to get food delivered here? Yeah, of course. Principal Aspen is like totally our girl. She lets us do whatever we want. Plus, she really likes DoorDash. 